If you hate American Idol, wait till you see Bulgarian Idol. We think we found out whatever happened to William Hung. That's next, but first time for Countdown's worst persons in the world, the bronze, the Newt Gingrich. The quote is alternately described to or ascribed to Thomas Jefferson and Gingrich's own hero, Benjamin Franklin. Those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. So what did Newt say at Drew University in New Jersey? If there's a threat, you have a right to defend society. People will give up all their liberties to avoid that level of threat. No, no, they won't. There is a reason, sir, that you are an ex-Speaker of the House, now on the fringes of even your own party, and the reason is, no, no they won't. The silver to the government of China, which continues to abuse CNN and my former colleague over there, Jack Cafferty. Cafferty said of the Chinese government, I think they're basically the same bunch of goons and thugs they've been for the last 50 years. Jack wasn't specific enough when he said that. He meant the government, not the people of China, nor Chinese Americans, certainly. Yet that nation's government-run TV network and website are reporting that CNN slandered China. They're demanding apologies from CNN. The website reports the phrase, don't be too CNN, is, quote, running rife on Internet. Let me try to help this uh, resolve this diplomatic crisis. I, too, think the Chinese government is basically the same bunch of goons and thugs they've been for the last 50 years. Okay, Jack, when they come for you, make sure you guys pick me up on your way out of town. But our winner, Bill O. As GE continues to wrap up its three-year divestment from all business operations in Iran, it'll be up completely by the end of June, he continues to wrap up his assault on the company and its chairman because they have not made me stop criticizing Bill. We told you on Monday that the CEO of General Electric, Jeffrey Emelt, is a bad guy and an incompetent manager. Well, today, the front page of the Wall Street Journal echoes our report. The article didn't mention ML doing business with Iran. I wish it had, but the exposure of ML's incompetence is worthy, Mr. ML is a pinhead. Wait, the Wall Street Journal didn't mention Iran. The Wall Street Journal now owned by, like Fox is owned by, like Bill O'Reilly is owned by, Rupert Murdoch. Even the Wall Street Journal didn't think there's anything in the story about GE and Iran. Bill, doesn't that tell even you something? You're out on the end of a limb and your own company is sawing it off behind you. You want to take me on? Do so. Be a grown-up. Fight your own battles for a change. Because for among other reasons, apparently your Uncle Rupert is no longer fighting them for you. Bill, here, kitty, 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 orally, today's worst person in the world.